Hey, our friends, today we're going to draw another Pokemon. Who are we drawing? Wobbuffet. 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 <laughs> you got your marker? Yeah. We hope you're going to follow along with us. You ready to start? Yeah. Okay, we're going to start by drawing Wobbuffet's head. And we're going to start by drawing a C shape that's upside down. So we're going to start right here. And we're going to draw a C shape. Comes around, curves around like this, and then back down. So I'll give you a point where we're going to start, okay? And then we're going to come around like this, draw a C shape down to here. Upside down C shape. Okay. Okay, now we're going to draw his hair. He doesn't really have hair, but we're going to draw a little... He's got something on his head, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we're going to draw a little line down right there. Good. Then we're going to draw another curve right here on the side, and this is going to finish his head shape. Yes. Perfect. Okay, awesome. Let's draw his face next. We're going to draw a sideways V shape. And we're going to draw it right here. So there's one eye. Where's eye? Yeah. We draw it right here. Burp, burp. Burp. <laughs> and then I'm going to draw another one over here. And this one's close to the right side of his head. Yes, you did that all by yourself. Good. Okay, Austin, now we're going to draw his mouth. And it's a zigzag line, but we're going to start in the middle and draw another V. So we'll start right here, and we're going to draw one V right in the middle. So we could draw it right here. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, then we're going to draw another V on this side and another V on this side. So one on each side of his, the first V we drew. Good, and then one on the other side. Okay, now over here we're going to draw one line down on this side, and we're also going to do one line down on the other side. Yep, and then one on this side, over here. Now we're going to draw a big U shape. And we're going to start here, and we're going to come down, and draw a big back up. <laughs> Does that look like Wubba Fett? Yeah, Wubba Fett. Wubba Fett. <laughs> okay, and then inside his mouth we got to draw his tongue. A big tongue. <laughs> Next, we're going to draw Wubba Fett's arms sticking straight up. So we're going to draw one line that comes crazy. It comes way up, almost past the top of his head. So we're going to start right here, and we're going to come up to about there. Good. And then let's do the same thing over here on this side. Let's draw another line. comes up. And I'm drawing it kind of curved, too. Good! I like it, dude! You did that one all by yourself. Okay, now we're going to draw the other side of his arm. So we're going to draw another line that comes down like this. And as it gets close to his armpit, we're going to get closer together. <laughs> so we'll start right here, and then we're going to come down close to his armpit. <laughs> yes, good job! And then at the very top, let's connect it. Connect it. That. There's Wubba Fett's one arm. And then we're going to do another Wubba Fett arm over here. We'll start far away and then close to his armpit. I'll give you a point. We'll put one there and we'll come down all the way down to there. Yes. Oh, good job. And then connect the top. All right, Austin, let's draw the rest of his body. So right here, we're going to imagine his body coming down and it's going to get close down here at the bottom. We're going to start right at his armpit and we're going to come down to here. We need to leave room for his feet down at the bottom. Good. And then we'll do the same thing on the other side. Start in his armpit and then come close. See how they're coming close together? Yeah. So we'll start here and come down to there. Does it look like Wubba Fett? Yeah. Okay, now we need to draw his legs. So right here at the bottom we're going to curve. And we'll curve the other way, too. Yes. Good. And then one on the other side. Okay, now we're going to draw his feet. So down here at the bottom, we're going to draw a C-shape. That cool C-shape? Yeah. We'll start right here. Draw a C-shape that comes around to there. Yeah, and then we're going to draw a backwards C shape over here on this side. 
So start right here, start close to this line, and then draw a C shape that comes around to there. Yeah! Okay, now in between the C shapes, we're going to connect it with a rainbow line. Perfect. Okay, he's got two more feet on the back, right? He's got four feet. So we're going to draw another curve that comes around like this on that side. So we'll start right here, come around and draw a little bump and then into his foot. Oh, cool. I like it. And then we're going to do the same thing on the other side. Curve around and then back in. So start right here, curve around. Boop. See how there's a little bump right here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes, just like that. Good job, man. I like it. Okay, dude, what's our Wubba Fett missing? His eye tail. Yeah, his eye tail. <laughs> it's got eyes on it. <laughs> we're going to draw a line that comes up. It's going to start curving. And then we're going to draw another line right next to it like this. Like that. So we'll draw a line that curves up. Yes, and then we'll draw another one right below it that comes out. See how they're getting far apart? And they're close together where his body is. And then we could draw an upside down U shape. Kind of has a point on it. Yes. Yeah. Okay, now we need to draw the eyes. So we're going to draw two ovals. Eye tail. Eye tail. Is that what it's called in Pokemon? Or did you no, just make that up? I didn't make that up. <laughs> it's eye tail. <laughs> Good, you did two perfect ovals. Now we're gonna do the little dot <laughs> in inside his eye. Okay, dude, we did it. We're finished drawing Wubba Fett. Should we color him? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna fast forward this part. You ready to fast forward? Yeah. Let's do it right now. So we finished coloring Wubba Fett. Did you have fun? Yeah. Yeah, it turned out awesome. And we used oil pastels, but you guys could use anything you want. You could use colored pencils or markers. What was your favorite part of Wubba Fett? The head. The head? Yeah. <laughs> well, it doesn't really have it. Yeah, his whole body is his head, really. Yeah. <laughs> and how old are you? Five. You're five years old. You did a great job, and you can be super proud of your Wubba Fett. It turned out awesome. What's the most important thing when we're drawing? To have fun. Yeah, to have fun. Fun. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing your Wubba Fets with us. We'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye. Wubba. <laughs> Is that what he said?